Oh well, greetings and welcome to the next video in the Inventor Tips and Tricks and Tutorials playlist. This will be a quick one. This problem happened in my office the other day and I thought I'd share it with everybody because it's a problem I've seen happen before and it will probably happen again. And if you've come across this video, you're either just looking at my playlist or you've got this problem. So I hope this is helpful to somebody. Right, I'm going to open this part here. Pressure gauge dash 100 PSI. I'm going to open this up. Right, nothing special at all on face value with this part. Crack on working with it. It says pressure gauge 100 PSI up there. It says it up there. Let's look at the part number. Uh, pressure gauge 100 PSI. Fine. Absolutely fine. So I need to create a new version of this. So I'm going to go to save as, as you do. And you're going to create a new copy of it. Let's say this is going to be pressure gauge 200 PSI. Save as. Jobs are good. Hang on a minute. It's pressure gauge 1. Hang on a minute. It's still pressure gauge 1. Didn't I just save as? Eh? Save this. Hang on a Let's save it. Shut it down. I'm not going mad at my open pressure gauge 200 PSI. That one there, 200 PSI. Pressure gauge 100 PSI. What? what? Is this the right properties? Pro so that's the problem. You've, we've done a save as on this part and it just, it's got the wrong, it's, it still says the old part number or this, the old file name in the browser and along the top of Inventor. It's a common problem, happens a lot. Basically, the problem has happened because somebody, at some point in the past, has manually typed in some text into the browser node at the top here. So, you may or may not be aware, I don't know, you can click this browser node, click it again, and you can type in, you know, you can type in whatever you want here. So, somebody's done that, and once you type something in there, it sticks. That text becomes static, so no matter how many times you create a copy of this part, whatever's been manually typed in there will stay. I could save this file as Susan or Trevor, you know, anything, and it would still say pressure gauge dash 100 PSI. Okay, so to fix this problem, it's pretty simple. Just click up here again, just rename it, press the space bar once, and then press return. That'll reset the value to what it should be, and you can see there, it's now saying pressure gauge dash 200 PSI, and that's now putting the right file name up at the top, across the top bar, across the inventor. Um, a good way to find, a good way to know whether this has been manually typed in, or whether it's kind of dynamically naming itself correctly according to the file name um, is if somebody has typed something in so if I just rename this to pressure gauge whatever notice there's no file extension at the end of the browser node and then when I press spacebar and press return you get the file extension in the browser node so if the file extension is there you tend to be okay if there's no file extension there you might not be okay there's a bit of a red herring here though just make sure in Windows you've got file name extension switched on. This is Windows 8. In Windows 7 you have to go to you know, Tools, Folder Options, the View tab, and then Show File Extensions for Known File Types, I think it's called. Um, so make sure you, your PC is showing file extensions. If the file extension's there, then it's all good to go and everything's fine. So yeah, just press space bar, press return, and that should be fine. If I do a quick save as now and call this, uh, I don't know, 300 PSI, that should now rename correctly along the browser node and along the top. Okay, so that's the problem solved. Hopefully, if you did have this problem, this should fix it for you. If not, then you might have this problem in the future, and this may be of use. I don't know, but yeah. Anyway, thanks very much. If you found the video useful, press like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and I'll produce some more content. The more subscribers I get, the more motivation you get to do this sort of stuff. Blah, 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 blah. I'm rambling. But thank you very much, guys, and until next time, see ya.